Body Energy says it will keep its headquarters in downtown St. Louis. Big news today. The coal giant was debating leaving downtown due to an increase in surrounding violence. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins has more on this big announcement. On Tuesday, Peabody Energy announced they plan to keep its headquarters in downtown St. Louis. The company has been in St. Louis since 1958 and is the largest private sector coal company in the world. The announcement comes after their building was riddled with bullets Labor Day weekend in 2021. Windows were shattered at Peabody Energy, the One Metropolitan Square building, U.S. Bank, and Laclede Gas in downtown St. Louis. First thing that we thought about was the safety of our employees. And through those conversations that we had with City Hall and with Greater St. Louis, we felt very comfortable that we're making the strides we need to make to make this place a good place to work and live. And, and that's why we made the decision to stay downtown. Despite the violence, Peabody says it will now sign a long-term lease to remain in place. Last year, Peabody was considering leaving downtown. That would have been uh, devastating for the city of St. Louis. We are proud they are choosing to stay downtown as one of the most recognizable companies in our city. We look forward to their continued partnership. Just over a year ago, when bullets shattered the glass of this building over Labor Day, it was a catalyst that spurred our community to come together, not yell at each other, not, not, not complain to each other, but come together as law enforcement, the city, the business community and nonprofit partners to form the downtown engagement and public safety initiative. Community leaders and authorities say they are working hard to prevent crime from happening. Downtown accounts for 20% of the general revenue of the city, so it's critical to the long term fiscal health of our city. It is a victory for downtown St. Louis and it is another victory for public private collaboration. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.